I'm, this was a combine. Run, run. I loved it. It was a great experience. Um, I learned a lot from the coaches and other people around. It, it was fun. I loved it. it. Definitely by far one of my funnest experiences for rugby. up into those three groups. Right, I'll go through the test one by one. Right in front of us here, we've got a sprint test. It's 40 meters. So you can take as many practice sprints as you want in the lane to the left where the gates aren't. There's also the hurdles behind just to loosen up the groins, the um, hammies, the hips there, so feel free to rip through that. Next station is the vertical jump where you can see the two lads, uh, the two bold lads in Mikey wall over there just kind of chatting away next to the yellow mat on the ground. Where the Marco Kiefer sat on the bench uh, and there's, uh, sorry, on the laptop there. That is a 225 pound repetition maximum test. Three, all right, ones, just sprints, twos, jumps, threes on the bench. They're coming over, lads. Bony knees, she's coming in here. Drop down, roll, <laughs> hold, hold, I want you working with your other defender here. Again, hold, hold, up. Drop down, take your defender. From here, again, you're holding with your, holding with your defender. Up. Just put that shoulder tackle on him. We're going to do, we're, lads, we're going to do a little bit of clear out work. My name's Adam, I'm the forwards coach here at the Hounds. Um, this drill involves a tackle, attacking breakdown work, but also some defensive breakdown work as well. So you're going to get a little bit of everything here. Um, the focus is the attacking breakdown side of things, so it's all about getting there quickly. If you can win the race and get to the contact point quickly, you're going to alleviate all sorts of problems. The jackler's not going to be able to get in there. All right, so this is what it's all about. So finally we have uh, rugby in Chicago, waiting for something like that, and a lot of great people, great athletes from uh, the other state, from other country. I've been a, a fan of rugby forever, so to have a professional rugby team that's close to my environment where I live at is pretty awesome because now I get to brag about it. Uh, not just that, we have you know more uh, facilities and more activities available to us. They just uh, announced that they have a select side coming up that we could try out for. So having a professional team around the, the Midwest area is very beneficial and profitable for guys who are aspiring to be professional players like myself. we will be going on overseas and kind of looking up to those guys and now getting kind of the opportunity to be around world-class coaches, um, be around world-class players and kind of be in this in a professional setup in America, uh, that'd be, it's, a, it's the dream come true. That's it, that's a good one, boys, well done. Yeah. 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 Uh, like I said before, I commend you guys for your effort, your attitude and your um, skill and, and your presence, like, because I know a lot of people have come from a long way, so I really appreciate that. Said this to the last group, now that you got that t-shirt, means you're a Chicago Hounds family member. Uh, right, so, yeah. so whether, in, whether what capacity it's in, you're always part of this family, okay? And even if you're another team or whatever, you're still gonna be fucking here. All right? Yes, sir. 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 Y